in this place. Let your healing. Of Job, if you can help me on the screen. Job chapter 3, verse 17. I discovered that, that there is actually a place where trouble will cease. You will enter into that place today. In that Job chapter 3, verse 17. There, the wicked cease from troubling. And there, the weary be at the... When I discovered this place in the, in the scripture, I said, you mean there is a place that all the wicked troubling me, they will just cease. And me that I'm tired from some situation, I will just enter into my rest. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father... Father, take me to the place where the wicked will cease from troubling. And I went into my rest on all sides. Open your mouth and pray. Take me to that place in this service. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In the book of 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. The Bible said that the house of King Saul was becoming weaker and weaker. But the house of David was becoming stronger. And Now, there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. But David worked stronger and stronger. And the house of Saul worked weaker and weaker. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, make me stronger than my enemies. Let my enemies become weaker by the day. And me stronger by the day. Make me stronger than my enemies. Let me be on the increase in strength. Blessed be your lady. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, this two prayer point, bless them. Answer them. Before Sunday, let us have testimonials concerning this. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God bless you. Put your hands together. And you may please be seated. The word that God has sent me to somebody today. Although this is an anointing service, but if there is a deliverance connected to this anointing. Deliverance from foundational problems. That's the topic. Deliverance from what? Foundational problem. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 2, 19 to 22. I will try and rush a little bit because of our time. We don't have much time. And on a day like this, we have so many things to say. 2 Kings chapter 2, 19 to 22. You will read there that there was a problem in a city. Okay, let me read it. And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant, as my Lord said, but the water is not. Meaning that the water is bitter, is not to be drunk. And the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new cruise, and put salt therein. And they brought it to him. Go to 21 and 22. And he went forth unto the spring of the water and cast the sword in there and said, Thus hear the Lord, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more dead or barren land. So the waters were healed unto this day according to the saying of Elisha. The man of God, which he spoke. I'm prophesying into your life in any area that you have been experiencing barrenness, experiencing struggling or stagnation. Let there be divine healing. In the name of Jesus. Many people are going through issues that have originated from their foundation. And in the book of Psalm 11, verse 3, Psalm 11, verse 3, the Bible said that if the foundation be destroyed, what can you now do at that point in time? The man of God knew that the problem of this water happened to be foundation. He said that he went to the spring. The spring is the 
source in which the water was oozing from. He did not just say, let me just treat it on the surface. He went to the spring where it's coming from. Many people are having issues in life because of foundation. But today, deliverance has come to you. In the name of Jesus. When you read the book of John chapter 9, 1 to 3, John chapter 9, 1 to 3, you will see something in that place too. A man that was born blind and the disciples came to Jesus. This man was born blind. Who sinned? The parents or him? Because they said that for somebody he had not seen before he was born. So, who sinned? His parents or him? And Jesus Christ said neither. It's for the glory of God to be made manifest. But when you explain that scripture very well, you will see something. Jesus Christ did not tell them, you are saying rubbish. Meaning that is a possibility that somebody may be suffering something now that has started before he came. They said, who sinned? The parents or him, he said neither. He did not say that. You are not saying this, the disciples, they had understanding of the spiritual realm that something could be done in the past and the present. People are suffering it. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 29. Jeremiah 20, 31 verse 29. The Bible said that the fathers are eating sour, sour grape and it's the children that are feeling the taste of it. This scripture is telling us volume. Every foundational problem that is troubling your life, troubling your business, troubling your career, troubling your health, today they will all be eradicated. The situation of the city, it appeared pleasant, but the water was not. What does that mean? Sometimes some people, they have good certificates, they have good results, but they can't get a job. The situation, pleasant, but they can't get the result that will cause what they have received to make sense. Sometimes somebody can be beautiful, and you'll be wondering, how come this person cannot maintain a good relationship? Sometimes you look at all the issues, the report of the doctor, yet no child. This is, can be likened to what they, you say that, look at the city, the city is present, but on the surface it's like that, but in the real sense we are not enjoying it. If there's somebody like that, people will be telling you that, ah, oh, you are looking good. But you know that all is known well. God is visiting your foundation. I said, God is visiting your foundation. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, visit my foundation and correct everything that has gone wrong there as we continue after this prayer. Visit my foundation. Correct everything that is wrong there. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So shall it be in Jesus' name. God bless you. In this church, you are prayerful people. You are doing very well. We'll be praying as we go. There was a particular lady. She was trusting God. She had been looking for the fruit of the womb for a long time. And somehow, somehow, she got with it. And she followed somebody to a place. A place in the forest. Not, not, not a godly place anyway. And in that place, she saw, she was supposed to consult a woman. A woman that was living inside a big pot. A dwarf kind of woman. No tooth. And I said that you want to have children, you have children. But there will be one or two things that I need to tell you. And they told us she had to do some things. She was ready to do anything. Said, but you have to choose. Do you want to have the children? If you have to have the children, then your first daughter will never marry. He said, no problem, no problem. I should be left as long as I will have children. It's just that she will not, and she, a covenant was made. Truly, she had children. That one did not know what was happening until she came to a church like this, living church like this, at age 59. And that revelation came out, and the power of prayer broke it up. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, every foundational problem that is the reason 
from any unpleasant situation in my life. Visit it now. Pray, 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 pray. Visit every foundational problem. That is the reason for any unpleasant situation in my life. Visit it. Blessed be your lily. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Every foundational problem that is the reason for any unpleasant thing that you are going through. Let the power of God, of the redeemed Christian Church of God, visit it now. And this very month, your testimony will emanate. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Put your hands together for Jesus. You are doing very well. Deliverance from foundational problems. The situation of the city, it appeared pleasant. So it's cool. It's, it's easy to be deceived that ah, everything is all well with this city. But they say that oh, man of God is not well. The water, we cannot even taste the water. The land self is barren. Whenever we even plant, nothing grows. And the man said, bring me a new cruise. And take, he said, take me to the spring. The spring is the the, where something is emanating from, and that is the root. There was a particular woman, she was pregnant, and they advised her that for you to have safe delivery, you need to consult. Those days, those days, you no, know, our parents used to do so many things, we're in ignorance. So she went to one herbalist, what do I need to do so that my delivery will be smooth? And now I said, okay, no problem, you have to be using something regularly. And uh, but you you it will cost you how much? She said one hundred and one fifty naira. That time it was still money. So she rallied round. She brought seventy five um, half of the money. But that one collected it and was giving her. So on her due day, the day that she was now in labor, she had to be rushed to that place. The man did everything he could do, but as he was doing it, the first baby, she had a set of twins. The first baby came out in that Abalis place. And she, he continued to do all the things he could do. The other baby did not come out. And this woman was getting weaker and weaker. He not told the family member, probably the gods are not happy because it's half of the money. All those people. He, that is half of the money that she paid. He said, that, but we can give you after. He said, ah, maybe they are not go and look for the money. So they rally around. They now brought the remaining 75 naira to complete the 150. He did everything. The baby did not come out. When he discovered that this woman was getting weaker and weaker, I hope this woman will not come and die here. He now said that, ah, let them take her away, that he had done everything. They were saying, let us leave. No, 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 no. Take, take her. And they took her. They, did, they were taking her away. They did not know where she was. In. One baby has come out. The other baby was inside. And as they were going, they just passed by a church. Prayer warriors, they were having their meeting. They were about to have their meeting. And they were just warming up, just singing praises. And one of them said that, since that Baba, let's go, go enter. We don't know where we are even going. Let's enter this place and tell them in this church. And they told the leaders of the prayer warrior team. And they brought the woman to the place. They had not even prayed. They just said, in the name of Jesus. They wanted to start praying the first prayer point. The baby started coming out. And she was delivered of a baby boy. Now, the first baby was born in the Abalis place. The second baby in the church. It appeared as if nothing had happened. The family celebrated. But years after, true life story, years after, by the time I was hearing this, that other one was a notorious, he was in the prison when I was hearing it, and this other one was a pastor. Don't ever say that some things don't matter. I don't know what your foundation is that you are not aware that could be affecting you. But God is visiting that foundation. Yeah. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, by the power in the blood of Jesus, visit my foundation. 
visit my foundation by the power in the blood of Jesus. Visit my foundation. Visit my foundation. I may not know something that had happened, but visit my foundation. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, all of us, we are calling on you. You are the beginning and the end. Also, you even know what we don't know that had begun some things in our life. Father, visit our beginning. Visit our foundation. Correct every error. And let our life receive divine boosts. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God bless you. Please be seated. You are doing very well. Very important. I said that the situation of the city appeared pleasant. But the land is barren. And the man of God then went to the very source, the spring of the water that they are talking about. And he addressed it from the roots. If you don't deal with problems from the roots, it will keep on producing the same fruits. If you don't deal with problems, if you cut a tree, it's just a matter of time. As long as the roots are intact, the roots will be fed again and it will spring up again. And some people will be saying, I thought I have gone past this. In the book of Job chapter 14, 7 to 9. Job 14, 7 to 9. The Bible says that there is hope for a tree if it be cut down. But if there is scent of water that will touch the root, it will spring up again. Many people have not successfully dealt with the roots of the issues that they are going through. But I thank God because God has seen all that you have been going through and he has decided to visit your foundation. And your foundation shall be visited. I saw a movie about a few years ago. In that movie, there was this notorious armed robber. He was so notorious that they could not get him. He did everything. He, he committed atrocity. But eventually, something happened. He was captured. And revelation now started coming. Because in the revelation, they now took us back in that movie to what had happened that led to his stealing. His father had two wives. And they brought forth uh, female children, girls. But he wanted a boy. And he now took a younger wife. Those other wives, they were not pleased anyway. He took a younger wife. And the first child that one was, would bring was that boy. Everybody rejoiced. But not everybody was rejoicing. They were rejoicing on the surface. Then they not showed us in that movie. A day before the naming, before the christening of the boy, they showed us which is Coven. And we now saw one of the wives inside in the midst of those witches. I said, what is the matter that you have brought here? I said, we have brought the matter of this new wife that my old man um, just married. She had brought forth a boy. It seems as if everything will not go to this boy. I want you people to do something that will render the boy useless, that it will be a disgrace to the family, that he will not even think of giving him any chance of anything. And they now, they, now, they now did something. In the realm of the spirit, they brought that baby into their midst. <laughs> Many things happened in the realm of the spirit. They brought the baby to the midst. The baby was still sleeping, you know, but the baby was in their midst. And their head now said, okay, what we should... You said they will be giving him a name tomorrow. Let's give him our own name now. From today, this boy will be a chief. And they, they rejoice. From that day, that thing entered to the boy. From a, the, a child, he started sinning. He parents, sometimes some parents will be dealing with, they will be going, they will be saying that this boy is stubborn, this one is stubborn. They don't even know where it has come from. And they continue to steal because of foundational problem. In those days when we were growing up, I used to hear 
the way they were dealing with armed robber, by firing squad, I think they would take them to the beach or something like that. They, I will not be hearing that some people were stealing in that crowd. Imagine, they are shooting somebody, the people that they have tied, and they will still be, you will know that it's, that's something that are not normal. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, every foundational problem that have brought any unholy heartbeat into my life, release your fire and destroy in the name of Jesus. Anything, some people it is anger, some people it is lust, some people it is one thing or the other, the person cannot just stop it. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your lady. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God said I should tell somebody, an aunt of yours compromised your destiny. Whoever thy aunt is, I'm praying. Father, because you have located that person. I mean, that person lived with the aunt when growing up. And that aunt compromised your destiny. I declare restoration of your full destiny. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, anywhere my destiny has been compromised, in your mercy, give me the full restoration. Anywhere it has been compromised. While I was living with some people, while I was living with my guardian, Father, full restoration, full restoration. Grant unto me full restoration. <coughs> Blessed be your lady. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, any area of our life that our destinies have been compromised and is not affecting us up to now, this your children, let there be full restoration. Is it not you that said that you will restore all the years? Every wasted year. Every wasted opportunity. Every lost ground. Let there be restoration. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. God bless you. Put your hands together for Jesus. We'll soon be through now because of our time. Foundational problems. They are real in life. David was going through financial difficulty. You know what? <laughs> it was when he asked God. God said that it's because of something that has happened. I said, oh, David, oh, David, David, the man of God. Oh. David, that the sweet psalmist of Israel. Second Samuel chapter 21 verse 1. Second Samuel 21 verse 1. The Bible said that year after year, for three years, he was having financial difficulty. A king. God now told him, it is because of King Saul, what he had done. Because King Saul happened to be before him. He took over. You mean I could be suffering from something because of who had gone before me? King Saul had killed the Gibeonites that Joshua made a league with. Once upon a time. And when God now told him, it's because of King Saul. Okay, he now called the Gibeonite. A king. He was a king. He called the Gibeonite. Hey, I'm sorry for what King Saul, my predecessor, had done. But how can we appease you? Is, are we going to give you anything? Say, we don't want money. We don't want anything. We want the blood of the family of the one that had been killing our people. You want the blood? Because King David wanted peace to be in the land and prosperity to come again. He now said, okay, I will give to you. Okay, what kind of... He said, and we want seven sons. When you read King James, in that second King, uh, second Samuel chapter 21, three to six, you will see the negotiation. They said they wanted seven sons. And David said, okay, no problem. I'll give you seven sons. But when I read the scripture, Saul did not have up to seven sons. I said, ah, we did not get seven sons. And I read the NIV version. 
he now, he now interpreted it very well. He said that we want seven male descendants from this family. That's why some people, they are having premature death in their family. They don't know what covenant had been entered into. Every covenant that has compromised your life or destiny or your prosperity or your health, they shall be destroyed here today. <laughs> Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, Father, destroy any negative covenant that I have inherited that is affecting my life, affecting my family. No more premature deaths in our families. No more premature deaths. No more premature death. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your lady. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I just saw something in the realm of the spirit. I saw about some people surrounding a person about to shoot. I decree whoever has been assigned unto death in the course of this year. That dead is cancelled. I said that death is cancelled. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, I shall not die. I shall live to declare the goodness of God in the land of the rain. Pray, 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 pray. That person I just saw now will not die. That person I just saw now will not die. I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall live. Blessed be your lady. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You are alive.